Excited ka na mag-build ng computer or mag-upgrade, na-research mo na lahat yung specs, ano yung kailangan gawin. But one crucial aspect that's hard to research is what's a good price for those components? Huwag kang mag-alala because the internet has your back. This video is what you need. Once a month, we take a look at the prices of computer parts in the Philippines para malaman mo if that component you're considering, that build you're thinking about, is a good buy. But what's definitely a good buy is a Windows activation key from our sponsor. Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated Windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mo lang sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang ang order. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, nagsindigi ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Standard intro lang natin, we take the prices from the four largest PC retailers in the country and then we get the average of those prices and these are for parts that we try to get a good mix from the entry level up to the high end so that even if we don't track the particular card or CPU that you're looking for, at least may ballpark idea ka what the price should be for the component that you're interested in. Two big news for this month. The first, one of the most popular GPUs is slowly being phased out. Mahirap na siyang hanapin. I'm talking about the 3060 12GB. Very popular card. Mid-level card. Good performance for their price. But NVIDIA has been trying to phase it out because they're pushing you towards the newer 4060. Also, they released a slightly new third 3060 na 8GB of VRAM lang instead of 12GB. But for Price Watch, we've always tracked just the 12 gigabytes. And then just to show you how bad the supply situation is getting, so we track four shops. We can only find prices for two of those shops. Two out of four shops don't carry the 3060 12 gigabyte anymore. To see si Wedge, wala. Si Roy, meron. Joker, wala. Si Wash, meron. If you're wondering about the names, we hide the shops under pseudonyms para lang wala silang free publicity. But consistent naman yung names na yun. So we have data going all the way back to 2022. Yep. And so from week one, that was around October 2022, dun palang consistent na yung names. So we can actually track the prices of a particular shop consistently all the way from 2022 to the present 2024. But that's the first big news. Naubu sa na no stock no 3060 12 gigabytes, which was, which was a very popular card. Although yung successor niya, yung nagpalit sa kanya, yung 4060, nagiging sumisikat na rin. According to the Steam Hardware Survey, it is on the it's on track to become the most popular used card for gamers on Steam. So, I mean, you know, the 4060 is faster, more power efficient than the 3060, should also be cheaper than the 3060. So on one hand, you can kind of see why the 3060 12GB is being phased out. But it's just sad to see a good performing card even now na mahirap hanapin. It's, you know, it's always better to have options. Second bit of major news is that the overall trend of the market right now is pataas yung prices. Especially in GPUs. Yung mga CPUs naman, hindi naman ganun ka volatile yung prices. But yung GPUs talaga... We track 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 models na NVIDIA. Out of those 7, 5 tumaas yung presyo. For AMD GPUs, we track 3. Not too much movement in the AMD GPU prices. So let's just break down the, for NVIDIA. So the 1650, slight price increase of around 300, 400 pesos. The 3050, so a pretty big price jump around 800 pesos. I mean, considering this is an 11,000, 10,000 card, that's almost a 10% price increase. 
decrease for the 30, 60, 12 gigabytes. So it's a bit hard to find now, but if you can find it, at least mas mura na siya. The 4060 is going for around 500 pesos more than the 3060. Again, in the States, SRP for the 4060 should be cheaper than the 3060. Although I think this is a fair price for both cards. You pay around 500 pesos more, you're getting the 4060, which gives you access to features that the 3060 doesn't have. In raw performance, the 4060 is also faster. And they are the only two cards on our list that have gone down in price from, <laughs> from last month. 4070 became more expensive. 4080 Super, too bad. Around April, this was such a good price. Ever since we started tracking it in April, pataas ng pataas yung presyo niya. <laughs> so I mean, 67 for 4080 Super was pretty good. But now you're looking at 70, maybe might be even higher next month. And you know, you're like, well, I would just shelled out. I was willing to shell out 67, why not 70? But Yung price trend lang na paakyat ng paakyat, that's what I'm concerned about. I think it also displays na wala kasing competition si NVIDIA on that market level. I mean, the AMD has really conceded the high-end portion of the market to NVIDIA. And NVIDIA is like, hey, no competition. We can just jack up the prices. The 4090, on paper, this looks like it went up. But actually, the price is still steady at around 120, 119. Umakyat lang siya because one of the stores that we follow, the cheapest 4090 that they had, medyo mahal. Yung ROG na liquid cooled, so that's a very expensive card. It jacked up the average prices. But you can still find, I believe, an MSI for around 119, 120, a 4090. So the average here is deceptive. It's still easy to find a 4090 at around 120. 6600 had a slight price decrease. 7700 XT had a price increase of almost a thousand pesos. And a little, that's a pretty big bump. We, when we can stock them, we actually stock the 7800 XT, and those sell out pretty quickly. So there is a market for these cards. Na maganda naman yung performance at a slightly cheaper price. People, or at least some gamers, don't seem to be too concerned about the less RTX performance of the AMD card. So there is a market there. It's just that AMD uh, is really having trouble enticing gamers to prefer their GPUs over NVIDIA. Top of mind talaga si NVIDIA. And then the 7900XTX is, is flat. Hindi nagbago yung price niya. So roughly the 7900XTX, the performance comparison is the 4080, not even the 4080 Super. So that's why it was such a good price. Tira mo tong 7900XTX, 67K. 4080 Super, 67K din. And the 4080 Super is faster than the 7900XTX. Kaya ang ganda nung price na to. This was a really good price for the 4080 Super a couple of months ago. But here we are in July. Pamahal siya nung pamahal. 7950X, no price change. 7800X3D, slight price increase of around 500 pesos. Still one of the best gaming CPUs that you can get on the market right now. 7600X, which is the sort of entry level. I mean, there are cheaper AM5 CPUs, but just like the 5600X, the 7600X is sort of the nice performance entry level for that platform. It has no price change. Slight price decrease for the 5600X and a slight price increase of around 200 pesos for the 5600G, which is still a very good overall CPU. But there is the 5600GT now, which I mentioned in previous months. Kakalabas lang nun. And you do get a slight performance increase for a slight price bump also. Although for me, if you're considering that price point, might as well just go with the 5600GT. Slightly faster, slightly more expensive, but you know, overall worth it naman. The AM4 platform is getting a little old, so you want to get as much performance as you can if you're just buying into the platform now. 4900K, no change. 14700K, no change. And this is actually also a big thing. We couldn't find any more 13600Ks. Like, lahat, the four big stores, walang stock. And I guess that's also big news. I should have mentioned it at the start. Because the 13600K was a good balance. So yung parang for price to performance and sort of like an entry-level performance CPU then Gamers like, oh, I want a mid-range build. You know, it's usually 13600K, 13700K. But 
now that option is gone. We couldn't find any 13600K on the market, like complete shutout. 12500 slight price decrease of around 300 pesos. So we'll go to the per shop deep dive. So these are the individual shops. Aside from the price changes, increase, decrease, Roy usually doesn't have a lot of stock. So last month, wala siyang 1650, 3050. But now, um, it does have. So good for you, Roy. nag restock ka na. It even has a 4070. So Roy has gotten new stock of cards. Competition options are always good. Joker, which usually stocks well. <laughs> lahat nung, like, as in like, Complete. Across the board, lahat ng GPUs niya tumaas. This is also the shop where from having the cheapest 4090 last month was the ROG Strix at around 141K. Now, it's a whopping 220,000. So, almost a quarter of a million pesos for their 4090. But kasi ito, ito na lang yung on stock, I guess, yung ROG Matrix Platinum 4090. So, I mean, it is a very expensive card. It is a 4090, but... They really tweaked it. I think, you know, it has the LCD screen and I think it, this is liquid-cooled. So, that's why the price is super high. But Wash has a 4090 for 109k lang. This is a very good price for a 4090. Actually, it's up June, it was that price. And then, in May, it was even 104k. No-brainer for me. Like, if I were in the market for a 4090, I just get the Ventus. It's compared to double the price of, like, something like this, which is really bo a bonkers card na 220,000. Not much price changes on the AMD side, with Wedge only having some, some price movement. And then you have the average prices here in green, which form the basis of the summary that we have in the first tab. This is a good time to mention that this data is available 24-7. The link is always up. It's publicly available so that you don't need to wait for these once a month videos and compare them to what you're thinking of buying. The link is pinned in the comments below as well as in the text description. Forgot to change this. Let's change that. And then for CPUs, not much change. So the CPU market is always less volatile than the GPU market. Price decrease for the 5600X, slight price increase. Uh, it's interesting that both of the price increases are the 5600G from two different stores, Roy and Joker, with the average price being 74. Okay. So I won't talk too much about the CPU side, except to note again that wala nang 13600K, wala nang 13600K, wala nang 13600K, wala nang 13600K. Which is, I mean, yes, the 14th gen isn't that new anymore. So maybe Intel is trying to push people over there. Just like the 3060, the 13600K was a good option. That's actually a good pairing. 3060, 12 gigabytes with the 13600K CPU. So sayang lang na it's getting harder to find the 3060 and the 13600K. So that's it for this month. If you're in the market right now, you might be thinking, should I just wait for December, November, yung mga Christmas discounts? But actually, statistics have shown that, our data has shown that prices, at least Philippine prices, don't really go down for computer parts in November, December. You can check out that pricing. Again, all the data is available here on the sheet. But we haven't seen any price decreases for the holidays. And GPU, <laughs> GPU seem to be going up. So I don't know if you just want to cut your losses now and just pull the trigger and buy that GPU or buy that rig now. While prices are still, you know, kind of ballpark to the lower prices that we saw early on in the year. Currently, kasi pataas sila nung pataas eh. And if you do think about buying parts or rigs, I hope you think about Hardware Sugar. But wherever you buy your parts, again, you can just check this data anytime. You can also check the channel on tips for computer hardware and basically anything tech-related. Happy researching, happy buying, thanks for watching.